Hello everyone. In this video, we will see that if we have two topologies of the same set and if we want to take the intersection of the topologies, then what should be the intersection? Is it a topology or not? So what we need is a proof. So let's start doing it. The situation is we have one topological space x and tau 1 and the other is x and tau 2 and we have to figure out the tau 1 intersection tau 2 is a topology or not. For this there are three basic properties. To show that tau 1 intersection tau 2 is a topology on x, we must verify that all three conditions that hold for tau 1 intersection tau 2 to be a topology. The very first condition is about the empty set and the x set itself. We know that the empty set and the set itself belongs to tau 1 because of the definition and the empty set and the set itself also belong to the second topology tau 2 because of the definition. And if we take the intersection of both the topologies then this is really easy to understand that will also contain empty set and set itself that phi and x belong to the intersection of the two topologies so the first condition is satisfied moving toward the other property that is about union which means that if we take arbitrary members uh, from this from this set then the answer must also belong to this collection of subsets. So let's take a set AI. Let AI be the collection of sets such that this is the collection of this type of set which means that so we can say that ei that this type of members individually belong to tau 1 and also ai belong to tau 2 because if ai belong to the intersection of the two sets then we can also write this as two statements As tau1 is a topology and tau2 is also a topology, which means that if we take union of all of these members that i belong to the index i, must also be a member of tau1 because of the definition of tau1 and that it satisfy any arbitrary union of the members also belong to the set itself. And the same thing can be done for tau 2. This is because of the definition of topology from tau 1 and tau 2. So this information implies that the union of AI from I belongs to that index also be a member of tau 1 intersection tau 2 because if individually the union belongs to tau 1 and the union belongs to tau 2 then we can say that if we're taking the intersection the union must also belong to the intersection therefore the second condition is satisfied and the union of the set arbitrary union of the set is also a member of the set of this set now moving toward the third property the third property is about the taking the finite members from this set so the answer or the intersection of that member should also be a member of tau 1 intersection tau 2 so if we are taking the finite members let's say a1 a2 a3 and so on to a n some finite members and these members belong to the intersection tau 1 intersection tau 2 then by this we can say that a1 is a member of tau1 and a1 is also a member of tau2 and we can say this 
for all of the elements, for all of these finite members of, of tau 1 intersection tau 2. And in general, we can write it as AI belongs to tau 1 and AI also belongs to tau 2 for I belongs to 1, 2, so on to n because there are n members of, of this set that we are dealing with right now. Now, the other thing is that we have to take the intersection of the members. Now, we take the intersection of members from I is equal to 1 to N of all AIs. That is a member of tau 1 and also the intersection of all AIs from 1 to N is a member of tau 2 because of the definition of the topology tau 1 and tau 2. We know that if we're taking the intersection of the finite members i1 to n, then this answer is a member of tau 1 and also tau 2, which means that the intersection i1 to n of the finite members also belongs to the intersection of the two sets, the intersection of the two topologies, which means that the third condition is also verified and we have proved that in general, the intersection of two topologies is also a topology on a set X. As in this proof, we have verified the three properties. First is about phi and the set. The second is about arbitrary unions and third is about the finite intersections. So in the next video, we will meet with another interesting, a new topic. Till then, take care. Goodbye.